Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another Welcome to the Club. This transfer I did not see coming. I've read three stats, some of them I literally read out for you in just one minute. But this player, he could be so good for Brian Hovey Albion, let's put that way. But anyway, there's a lot to talk about Joel, so let's get straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, give us a big comment, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So Jill Fountain, who we've just signed. As I said, I did not see this transfer coming. Great job by the recruitment staff at Brighton. Great job by Grand Potter and all the board members to get this deal across the line. As I said, I'll just read some of his stats. I'm so excited to see Joel play at the MX Stadium next season. But anyway, let's go over what what it's all is. So he's 28 years old, so, you know, still got a few, few years left of him. Uh, he signed a three-year contract, uh, so aged 31 if he sees it out. It costs us around about one million. Uh, so, you know, not a lot. After I read these stats, I think it's a real steal as well, but let me know what you think, especially Brighton fans. His main position is a centre-back. Now, as a Brighton fan, which I am, there's been speculation about Ben White and Shane Duffy. If I have my opinion, I'll probably say it's a replacement for Shane Duffy. Ben White is out of contract very soon though, so the next couple of days, the next few weeks, we should know whether Ben White's down at Brighton or going somewhere else. His other positions is right back, so Martin Montoya, Lampant, hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, but, you know, you've got a lot of um, right backs, so he can fill that position. He's an Ajax youth player. Now, for you that don't know, Ajax has a big link with Chelsea Football Club. So, you know, to have to be in the Ajax youth team, you've got to have something special about you. He's played 2,543 minutes this season for Ajax. Now, this is the exciting bit. He's played five times in the Champions League last season. A Champions League centre-back. Now, as I said, I'm a Brighton fan. For us to have a Champions League centre-back... Now, you say that to us five, six years ago when we were in the championship, we were beating your hand off. We've got a Champions League experienced centre-back, as well as a midfield with Adam Milano, of course. He's played for the Netherlands 21 times with two goals to his name. So, you know, a few spells for the Netherlands. Also, he's played for the Netherlands under 20s, under 19s, and under 17s, and he's a white footer. So, <laughs> I can't believe this. Adam and Lana, Joel, across the line. Brighton fans, who do you want to see next? I've got a really good feeling now that it's going to be an amazing window for Brighton. I mean, it's going to be mind blowing. I've got a funny feeling that it's going to be maybe. Three more big players coming our way. One just popped into my mind. I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm going to see where you know the speculation goes. But anyway, Brighton did keep this one quiet. But Joel is a Brighton player. Welcome to the club, Joel. Welcome to the club, Adam Milano as well. But well, next season I've got a good feeling. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. You're going to have a big fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.